What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get to it. All right, you guys, big time announcement. And we're in talking about the sport, women's sport of boxing, women's, women's boxing. As the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, three division world champion, uh, only person to be undisputed in two separate weight classes, 154 and 160, two time undisputed in the same weight class, none other than Clarissa T Rex, the quote Shields has just announced her next fight for June 3rd um, in Detroit and where the Pistons play. She will be taking on her, uh, you could, I guess you could say, former rival, uh, Hannah Gabriels. Hannah Gabriels is 21 wins, two losses, one draw, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Um, Hannah Gabriels last fought in 2021 against Martha Gaitan, where she got a second round TKO victory to become the inaugural WBA heavyweight champion and the WBC heavyweight champion on the female side. Um, Clarissa Shields is coming off of a unanimous decision win last October over longtime rival uh, from the amateurs, the only woman to ever put a blemish on her record at all. That way back in the amateurs, uh, Savannah Marshall. She got a unanimous decision in that fight. It was pretty much a one-sided fight. The, um, the first five rounds, Clarissa Shields, she won those rounds handily, and she probably won three of the last five at, you know, at worst. Um, Savannah Marshall was just severely outclassed. That put uh, Clarissa Shields at 13 wins, no losses, no draws, two wins coming by way of knockout. Now, this is a rematch, if you will, or the second fight between Clarissa Shields and Hannah Gabriels. A lot of you know they fought some years back, and um, it, that was in the super middleweight division, which saw Clarissa Shields pick up the unanimous decision win. But the interesting thing about that fight is Hannah Gabriels is and still was and is still is the only female to put Clarissa Shields down. She you go back and look at that fight. I believe it was the first round. She uh, caught her with a cross or an uppercut and then a left cross, put Clarissa Shields down. Clarissa Shields got up. Uh, that was probably one of the only, one of the few rounds that she lost clearly and handily in her career up until this point. Um, from that point on, she got up and pretty much won every single round in that fight. Now, granted, that was probably, you want to say maybe four, was that about four, maybe four, almost five years ago at that time. Um, so now things are different. Both fighters, uh, as you can see to this point, have improved both on both ends and a lot of different things. Clarissa Shields, she has improved tremendously um, in, the, in the area of defense. And you can watch that in her last three fights, a, a fight where she fought um, Savannah Marshall. As you can see, Savannah Marshall couldn't do much with her. You watched the fight before that with Emma Cozen. Emma Cozen, I mean, she showed up and she fought, but she couldn't touch her. Um, the fight before that, I believe it was um, Ivana Habazin, and she tried to rough her up and do all of this and that, tried to do all the roughing up and all that, but it, it wasn't going to work. You know, some things you just... When you can't hit the fighter, um, you have to figure out other tactics to make the fight interesting. So in talking about this fight, since this is Shields, Gabriel's two, um, I'm looking at this fight as um, another unanimous decision win. Um, it would do Clarissa Shields a lot of justice to go for a stoppage. Um, we know she has the skills and um, everything to outclass her. Um, being that, you know, she is uh, 77 and one as an amateur. She's two time gold medalist, um, Olympic gold medalist, uh, three division world champion, two time undisputed in the same weight class, two, two division undisputed. You know, so it, it would do her a lot of uh, <clears throat> justice 
in this fight to go for a stoppage. If she does get a stoppage, I'm going to say she'll get the stoppage about seven rounds, um, you know, because female boxing is two minutes. A lot of females, they do get uh, a lot of stoppages and knockouts. But, um, you know, there's a difference in stopping somebody who's essentially only trained maybe a week or two or three weeks for a fight, uh, a particular fighter, as as opposed to trying to uh, train to fight, have a full week, uh, full camp uh, and a high level fight. So I, I think Clarissa Shields should try to get the stoppage in this fight. Um, the talks were swirling that she was going to move back down to 154 um, to face Natasha Jonas. But Natasha Jonas turned that fight down, uh, you know, stating that the, the the numbers and the money wasn't right. You know, um, be it that it may Natasha Jonas, she is the current champion at 154. Uh, only, you know, we we know. Clarissa Shields, she was undisputed, like I said before. She had to relinquish those belts, move up, defend her titles, become undisputed again. But it's uh, a lot about namesake, and you know how things go in the sport of boxing, and it's starting to leak over a little bit into the sport of women, into the women's sport of boxing. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, I look forward to this fight June 3rd in Detroit. Uh, Clarissa Shields, she'll get the win. That's what we rocking with. The quote all day. Let's go, T-Rex. I'm out, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, share a button. Follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJ the Great 09. Appreciate you guys. All your comments. I thank you guys for everything. Peace.